make up a play. Let's do a play about a royal wedding. We will need a king and a queen, a bride and a groom, and a couple servants. Who would like to be king for this evening's entertainment? Would you like to be queen for a day? Sorry, sir, thou art not eligible. <laughs> this then shall be the thing. The king plays the king, and the queen, the queen. And playing the daughter will be, oh, not just another pretty face, folks. She must have her father's looks. Her mother still has hers. <laughs> we could do Goldilocks and the three boars. <laughs> Sorry. Our mask this evening is about love and courtship and marriage and beauty and simplicity and infatuation and outfatuation and that great showstopper of human endeavor, shyness. The cast includes Princess Prunella, who is naturally the daughter of the king and queen, naturally. She is not only less than attractive, she gives new meaning to the word plain. She has always been plain, and she knows that she is plain. How plain is she? She is so plain that, in fact, she refuses to go to Barcelona because she has heard that the rain in Spain falls mainly on the plain. <laughs> she does not want that. Oh, I like that. But did you get it? She said the rain in Spain falls mainly on the plain? What is this? Is this a replay? Of course I got it. I'm waving my hummer hum fiance. <laughs> the princess is attended to by her beautiful handmaiden fawn, whose pulchritude is suppressed only by her ineptitude. When she or she has been richly blessed in all ways except intellect. When her body fails her, she can always fall back on her mind. Although the fall will be long and unrewarding. 